Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it looks like Steam is finally adding support for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you didn't already know, Steam is still an Intel Rosetta 2 application. So when you run Steam on the M1 Mac at the moment and you open Activity Monitor, you can see that under Kind, it's still running as an Intel application. And this is an issue because this is actually hindering the development and the delivery of native ARM builds of games. This is because when Steam is run as an Intel Rosetta 2 application, then Steam will attempt attempt to inject the Steamworks API. So this API is responsible for things like the frame rate counter in the top left hand corner of the screen and also what appears when you press shift tab. So this overlay, for example, the achievements, the friends list, the screenshots, the community hub, all of this is part of the Steamworks API. And up until very recently, this API was completely incompatible with ARM versions of games. And therefore developers would need to figure out a workaround just to be able to deliver their native ARM game on Steam. So for example, when you open a game like Baldur's Gate 3, the user will be presented with an overlay with the choice of playing the Rosetta Intel version of the game, which will inject the Steamworks API and the Steam overlay as normal, or they can select the more optimized ARM 64-bit native version of the game, which will now be able to launch without the Steam overlay or the Steamworks API being injected into the game. However, Valve has now released an update, which is very likely to make all of these workarounds completely unnecessary. Big thanks to my viewer, Human Golmo Hamadi. They pointed out that Valve have just updated the Steam SDK with an ARM64 universal build of these specific files. So if we look at the actual patch notes itself, it's saying here that the ARM64 universal build of these two library files have now been made for the macOS build of Steamworks. This will hopefully mean that the main barrier for a build of Steam that is native to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac has been overcome. And now I'd expect to see a native build of the Steam client to be released very soon. So what's interesting is that the update to the Steamworks API has already had an effect on the M1 Mac gaming landscape on Steam. For example, Space Space Startopia has an ARM build. However, this ARM build used to not be able to launch on Steam and they included the ARM build in a subfolder which you had to launch manually from the root of the installation folder. However, if you launch the game today, you can see that this is now a universal application and this runs as a native game on Mac. You can see that the frame rate counters are all working correctly. And if I shift tab, we can see the overlay is also functioning correctly. Here we see that this is an Apple application. And here it's showing that this is a universal binary which contains Rosetta 2 code as well as native ARM code as well. So this is an example of a game that was previously only playable via Rosetta 2 on Steam, but now made natively playable through the update of the Steamworks API. So what's quite exciting about this new development is that several games which are on the Mac App Store, which have native ARM builds, could now potentially be included on the Steam platform. So currently, for example, the game Disco Elysium runs as a Rosetta 2 application under the Intel build on Steam. However, the Mac App Store version could potentially be ported now to Steam and make use of the Steamworks API. Another example is the game Total War Rome Remastered, which is a remaster of the original Total War Rome game. And this version was touted as having excellent native ARM support. However, this better performing native version was restricted only to the Mac App Store and the Steam edition of the game was restricted to the Intel Rosetta 2 version. So hopefully with a proper Steam client update, we'll see a native ARM version of this game on the Steam platform. We also have a game like Beyond a Steel Sky, which is running here as a native ARM build of the game. And this is the Apple Arcade version. So it's actually unlikely that a game like this will get a Mac port on Steam. This is due to a likely licensing agreement between Apple and Revolution Software. If this game's contract ever becomes non-exclusive, then it could potentially be released on Steam as a native M1 Mac port. Another interesting example is the 4X strategy game Humankind, which was marketed as having a full Mac port on the day of release. However, when release day finally came, they were only able to offer the Windows port of the game and the Mac port was delayed by a month. And therefore, if you wanted to play it on a Mac, you would have to virtualize it. So the footage that I'm showing you here is the game running on a Windows 11 ARM virtual machine running through parallels and the performance is not really great. So a lot of people are really waiting for this Mac port to come out. And almost by sheer coincidence, the news of the beta was released at the same time as the Steamworks SDK. 
And although a native M1 version is not actually ready yet for the beta, it will be available soon. And this is something that the developers are working on right now. So hopefully we'll see a full AAA strategy game released as an M1 title on the Steam platform very soon. So my hope is that when Steam finally releases its native ARM client, that this will be a signal to developers and publishers that the M1 Mac is finally ready for gaming. This might not kickstart a AAA gaming revolution, but at the very least, it will encourage developers and publishers to take their existing native ARM ports from the Mac App Store, where they're going to reach a larger audience and also perform much better than their Rosetta 2 counterparts. You can also check on the Apple Gaming Wiki website for the M1 Compatible Games Master List. And this allows you to sort between native and Rosetta 2 games. And here you can see several other games that might benefit from being able to be launched as a native application on Steam. So anyway, let me know what you think about Steam receiving a native ARM build and what this means for Mac gaming. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.